was. The trail was hard, and we didn't even make it to the top. So we started our trip with a two and a half hour drive from the Airbnb in Winter Park to the La Plata Trailhead. We got to the trailhead a little bit past dawn, and there was already like 12 cars there, which was surprising because it was July 4th. We were not expecting that many people. So the trailheads probably do get busy, especially on the peak days. Uh, we, we were taking the Northwest Ridge, which has so many switchbacks and steps at the start. Uh, so we quickly broke a sweat and had to lay her down a couple times. It had me and my friend breathing hard, for sure. So finally, just about to pass the tree line, for real now. Past two people down below that started at 2 a.m. And it is now 8. So it took them about six hours to do six miles. So we're on track also. About to deliver the other pair of the deck tracks. Not yak tracks, whatever. So we actually had three pairs of micro spikes but my friend had yak tracks and he didn't really trust them that much um so what's going on in this scene is i had to walk across with my girlfriend while she had her micro spikes on and then this is the video of me walking back with her micro spikes to pass to our next friend so that I could walk across with him again, he could take him off, and give him back to the last guy. It really became like the fox, the fox, chicken, and the grain problem, where the farmer has to cross the river, but he can't take everyone or else the boat will sink. So, definitely come prepared, bring enough micro spikes for everyone and make sure everyone's comfortable with using their product. So it's about to be 9 a.m. and we just made it over that ice patch way back there. Probably a little bit more to go. Uh, our phones say we walked like four miles, but that's probably more like three and a half, so maybe another hour. Probably have like another mile to the top. I have to correct myself, we weren't even close. Just news, taking a breath, getting beat by people twice my age, and trail because once again it was covered by snow even in July maybe the trail is better in August <sighs> lots of people with dogs surprise defeated by La Plata. Uh -huh. One of our friends, what is it called, stuck his hand with a cactus. And he was not willing to do the boulder field. It's ready to get him late. We still have at least a mile to the top. So we are going to turn back and have some fun sliding down the snow. I guess that's the Ellington Ridge? Ellingwood. Ellingwood Ridge. <laughs> leads to the peak also, which I'm assuming right there. So that's probably insane to do. Huh? I wouldn't do that.
Yeah, definitely, definitely the shortcut. <laughs> Yo, he got it! Oh my ass! You just keep going again. Oh my god. It's like slow though, right? No, it's not even that fast. Woo! Yeah! Fire! That was fun. Okay, so we just slid down that thing right there. Uh, it's pretty easy to slow down with that. So, I don't know if I recommend it. We can walk across also and do the trail. Definitely had a lot of fun, and I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for seeing other people doing it first. Damn, that's why people wear snowshoes. Um, other than that, I don't know if that's a class two. It felt like a class three. <laughs> Definitely recommend whatever company this was. It's with a link in the description on Amazon. They helped me get across most of the ice patches. The micro spikes here, they're really good. My friend had the yak traps. He was scared to even put them on to begin with. Uh, even though they had pretty good reviews. I think the Yak Tracks had like 4.6 stars and like 500 reviews, but these were pretty good too. I think they're 30 bucks on Amazon, somewhere around there. You know, price fluctuates, always gonna change. Not really from Colorado, probably won't be using these for some time, but nonetheless, I, Definitely recommend you bring them that way. You're not forced to turn around. You don't face any crazy surprises. Definitely easier to go down. But my toes, my toes cannot take it. Maybe my boots too loose. Either way. I will see you once I hit the tree line. Back at another ice field. Definitely not easy to cross. Definitely gonna be another pain in the butt. Hey, go these gophers keep cursing us out. You know what's worse? Since we experienced the slide, now we know you can't stop. Yeah. Alright Brian, cancel the life insurance. So this was their first time on a 14er, my second. They kicked our butts. Make sure you have everything that you need. Um, read the trip reports, but read them with caution because a lot of people who write yeah. the trip reports like either live here or are experts so if you're a first timer proceed with caution <laughs> definitely try out a class one before you hop yeah, over into sure. a class two uh definitely just buy a pair of micro bikes at a minimum because it will come in handy and perhaps an ice axe and with that check out our other videos I'm sure we'll be posting more. So if I 